my husband last August unfortunately suffered his first epileptic seizure whilst driving um, and he had two impacts, one into another car and one into another wall um, and the airbags didn't come out um, uh, so unfortunately he obviously had a bit of a head injury um, but I guess my question is, is obviously he caused the, uh, the accident by having unfortunately a seizure but because the airbags didn't go off I'm just wondering if we have any standpoint to sue the car company. Interesting. Um it's not impossible, but it will be difficult. Let me let me expand on that answer. Uh, for, uh, obviously, airbags should normally deploy in a crash situation. Was it was it a reasonably high velocity crash, or do you not know? Because he doesn't remember. It was between twenty and thirty. Yeah, that's that should that should deploy an airbag. Um, I also have footage of both impacts. Um, and uh, the policeman came over to me after the accident happened and he said, I cannot believe that the airbags didn't go off and you should absolutely follow this up. And were you, were you in the car, like Brooke? I wasn't, no, but it was um, literally around the corner from where I live and all of our neighbours know each other, so they came and got me. OK, um, Okay. so uh, on the face of it, um, so, uh, sorry, one other question. How old is the car? So the car was a 22-plate car. Did you, um, did you buy it uh, as a new car? So it was actually a car that he was leasing from work. When you say leasing um, from work, do you mean work organised it? And, and yeah, it's a company car. It's a company car, OK. Uh, all right, so if a item, if a item such as a car is, is defective uh, and it's a, it's a latent defect and an a, a airbag that doesn't deploy is exactly that... Uh, and you can prove it was defective, then you will have a claim against the manufacturer. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, the difficulty is, is proving that the airbag was either w was defective, it was a defective design or defective installation. Ha the very fact it didn't deploy goes some of the way, but it might not be quite enough. Have you tried Googling to see if this is a recognised problem with this particular model of car? Mm. No, I haven't. Okay, that's the first thing to do because if you can show, if you can show from the accident, from the same thing happening with other people, this is a recognised problem with this model of car. You've got a pretty solid claim, uh, and it's something that I would absolutely go to a specialist personal injury solicitor uh, to deal with because the compensation isn't going to be for the injury to his head. Was it, was it physical injury or has he suffered? Any, any more serious injury in, in the sense of um, uh, any mental impairment? No, no, no. It, it was just physical at the time. OK, and, and give me an idea of its uh, severity. Was it, was it a bruise? Was it something more? Uh, the car went up in flames so that he had um, an impact from where he bashed his head but also burned on his fingers. The car also went up in flames very, very quickly. And again, we were told by the fire brigade that a 22-plate car should not be going up into flames that quickly. I mean, strangers pulled out my husband yeah. and saved his life. Um, yeah. And, and yeah, it was crazy that okay. the car blew up so so, quickly. so the burns, um, the burns probably would have happened whether the airbag had deployed or not. Is, is that a reasonable True. inference? Uh, so yeah. it's, it's just about the impact to his head on, on the steering wheel? Yeah, well, I, I think there's that, but I also think that the car shouldn't have gone into flames well, as quickly as it did. I, I agree with you in theory. I'm, I'm not an expert on cars and I can't really answer. I don't know how the accident happened. I don't know uh, about the design of this particular car. And the, uh, But sure. if you're going to bring a claim for the burns as well and show that the car was badly built and badly designed, you'll need to get an expert report from someone specialising in, in, in car construction to show there yeah. was something f basically wrong with this car and it wasn't of satisfactory quality uh, when, when, when it was put together. Now... This needs to be done really by a lawyer, Brooke, and I would go and find a no-win, no-fee firm of personal injury lawyers to help you out. The difficulty, yeah, okay, thank you. If, if your husband's injuries were relatively minor, how, how bad were the burns? Uh, I mean, compared to the accident, it's amazing. Like, it was crazy how untouched he yeah. was, to be honest. Yeah. Um, but I'm still angry because, you know, what if I was in the car? I was actually eight months pregnant at the time. Um, what if I was in the car? You know, it, everything could have been so much worse because the airbags didn't go off. And I'm just angry at the car manufacturer in general, basically. <laughs> yeah, I, I totally, totally get that. I, I, I would definitely go and see a firm of no win, no fee solicitors. 
Um, the, I, I'm just wondering whether there's enough money in the claim. And I know this is cruel, but but legal compensation is about pound, shilling and pence and nothing else. It's about money. Yeah. I'm wondering if there's enough money in the claim if the injuries, thank goodness, weren't that serious for a no win, no fee solicitor to think it's worth them doing it for a third of the damages. Yeah, completely makes sense, Daniel. Um, but but that, that, that's the course of action, Brooke, and I wish you luck with that. I'm so glad your husband's OK, and also I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're in the car. Um, have you had the baby now? Yes. All, all good? <laughs> Thank you. Everything's amazing. She's lovely. Excellent. What's, what's her name? Her name's Maya. All well, my best wishes to Maya, and congratulations to both of you.